Spark builds on the strengths of Ada, firstly by defining a very strict subset of the Ada language. Um, but it's not just a, what we would call, say, a syntactic subset or a coding standard. It's really much more subtle than that. It's really a semantic subset of the language. Um, particularly, one of the big goals of the design is to produce a, a, a language which has an unambiguous semantics, meaning a, a piece of Spark text, say, if you printed a piece of source code, only has a single meaning. It only can exhibit a single behavior regardless of what sort of computer it happens to be running on at the end of the day or any such variable. That property is very special because it means our verification tools basically can always get the right answer without having to make any assumptions which are, which are you know, unjustified or unsound or having to guess at any point what the semantics are. Um, so the language design is very carefully built on top of Ada. Obviously we, we get rid of uh, in the language features which are wholly non-deterministic or, or of uncertain meaning. Um, but we keep a lot of, I guess, what we would call the good stuff from ADA. We keep the strong support for software engineering in ADA, the strong support for abstraction mechanisms um, in the language, which are a very important building block um, um, of Spark. In addition to that, we have a system of contracts in the language, which kind of extend the language as well. So it's almost a superset of ADA as well as a subset. The contracts are all about extending what a pro being able to specify what a program does or what a program should do um, at the point where we need that information to make the verification um, efficient and and, um, and sound. So where Ada, for example, has separate compilation of units in the language, Spark, the, the contract language, is there to provide a kind of separation or separate verification of units as well so that we can verify units in isolation from one another and then when we compose big programs out of little programs, the verifications still work and they, 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 the, the verifications we did earlier um, still make sense and we don't have to repeat the verification of the whole thing all the time. Um, so the language really relates to ADA and builds on ADA. Obviously we leverage off all the other tools in the market, so all the ADA compilers in the world work perfectly with Spark, and we, they have done for 20 years or more. Um, we leverage testing tools, coverage analysis tools, all the existing market and infrastructure um, and community of other vendors that work with ADA are completely open to Spark at the same time. So we're able to build on that commercial sort of uh, ecosystem, if you like, to bring Spark to projects.